So if you guys watch a lot of Toasty DIY, then you'll probably know that not too long ago, I bought the Razer Halo Infinite Edition keyboard. And that was a really awesome Black Widow keyboard that was basically like a, a green Master Chief Spartan themed keyboard. And so I decided, you know what? I think it's time to get the mouse to go with it. So I bought this mouse off of eBay and I ended up getting it as I think an open box or refurb. I'm honestly not sure I'll have to put um, in the description. It actually looks like it came with some sort of, sort of add-on card. I have no clue if that's actually uh, valid or not, but I'll check once we open it. But I was able to get this for a little the under the MSRP. So I was able to get this mouse for a little under the MSRP, which the MSRP at the time recording this video is $40 on Amazon. I was able to get this for around 34 on eBay, uh, which honestly may not be worth it when you can buy it brand new for only six bucks more. Uh, but they are all over the place, you know, used, refurb, new. And it is basically just a Razer Death Adder V2 20K DPI optical sensor mouse, but it's just skinned to have the Spartan 117 and it looks like it does have RGB lighting. It's gonna glow in the 117 and on the mouse wheel. It does come with a couple of macros on it and whatnot. Let's just go ahead and open this thing up. It's honestly, you know, mouse review. Doesn't really need a whole lot of talking. Really just needs a whole lot of uh, looking at the actual product and seeing what everything looks like. So let's see, we get this little add-on card. I'm gonna look at this off screen. Okay, so I can see the code, but yeah, I have no clue if it's redeemed or not. <laughs> but it does come with a little add-on and everything. Uh, we get our typical little razor that's signed and everything, little razor product card. And then this is our user manual. So honestly, with most mice, there's not really a whole lot to them besides learning how to uh, program macros and everything, which most of the time you do in game. But of course, Razer does have a really fancy software where you can go through and actually program you know each macro individually you have dpi switches right here so you have dpi up or dpi down you have a scroll wheel that has a ton of feedback it's pretty quiet but it definitely is nice and clicky we got a center punch click on the side we have two macros that are pretty ergonomic honestly kind of designed for the right-handed users out there but as you can see good click and everything. You have this nice curve right here, once again, for the right-handed users to rest their thumb. It's a fairly large mouse. It's kind of how these are. They have a pretty big uh, hump on the side, like a really good profile. So for anybody that has larger hands, I'd say this would be a great mouse for you. And even if you have smaller hands, which I do, it still feels like a really great mouse. Lightweight coming in at 82 grams, which of course, when you compare that to something like a glorious model O, you're looking more in like the 60s typically. So just being about 10 to 20 grams over isn't too bad for this mouse. It does come with PTFE feet out of the factory, which are known for being pretty good, having really good slideability and lasting a really long time. We do get optical mouse switch which actually at the speed of light and they're rated for 70 million clicks. And then the actual sensor itself is the Razer Focus Plus 20K optical sensor. The only thing that's really cool is that it says it automatically calibrates itself across different surfaces ensuring consistent lift off accuracy. Essentially meaning a lot of the cheaper mice you'll find out there when you lift them up to reset, it's called resetting your mouse position. So let's say you get towards the end of your mouse pad or the end of your range of motion. So you kind of bring it back. A lot of mice will do what I call ghosting, where when you lift off, it'll still track and you don't want that. As soon as you lift your mouse off, you want it to instantly stop tracking and that is what these razor mice will do. Another cool feature is the sides have like a nice rubberized grip, you know, especially for uh, the sessions where they might be kind of long, you might get a little sweaty. You have a little bit of extra grip here and a little bit of extra grip here as well. And obviously the rest of the mouse is just a plastic of sort. And this is the Razer Chroma lighting. So it's true 16.8 million customizable color options. And besides these other buttons that you can clearly see up top, you do get one more button right here where you can change profiles, maybe for specific games and whatnot. You might have specific colors, specific DPI, specific even key binds for each one of these. And another couple of features I wanna go over is one, you get a nice braided cable. Now it's not a super lightweight cable. It's not like the glorious cables or the other lightweight cables where they're just really light and they have no drag to them, but it's not super heavy. It is a very nice braided cable. It comes with this nice USB 2 that does have the green inlay and I like that it comes with a little cover as well just to keep it protected but fairly long cable and like I said it seems like it's very durable and it's going to hold up really well. Now of course for the moment that you guys have been waiting for we're going to go ahead and undo 
this twist tie because we need to see how this mouse actually looks. Out of the gate, it looks like we get a nice, it looks like it's gonna be RGB. We're kind of going between like a blue and like a light blue. So I'm assuming it's gonna keep going through. Yeah, I really know other lights. We have one little light down here. It's just like an LED indicator light to let you know that it's on probably. It may also change color based on the profile. We just get a little bit of lighting on each side of the scroll wheel and then the 117 glows. Obviously when you're using it, you're not really gonna see the 117, but that's most mice. They typically will have the logos light up and really not many other spots will light up. So as you guys can see, we have everything set to RGB. This is exactly what the Halo Infinite Razer keyboard looks like with the Halo Infinite mouse. And yeah, it looks super awesome. It matches obviously really well. They did design them to go together. And uh, there actually is some other products you can get. If you really wanna dive deep, you can also get a mouse pad and a headset to go with these as well if you want the full Halo Infinite collection. So keep in mind that every time you buy one of these products too, especially if you get them new, they all do come with codes of some sort. I know the keyboard I believe came with the actual campaign, which was normally $60. And then I'm not really sure what the mouse came with. It was some sort of DLC, but it is really cool that uh, Razer has teamed up with Halo, especially it's, since it's a game that I uh, really love and I've always loved the Halo games. So I really appreciate any company that helps a game like Halo out just because like I said, I just love it so much. But yeah, Razer Synopsis software, you can set all these RGB colors to anything you want, whether it's static, pulsating, a smooth rainbow like this. You can literally make it do anything. You can even change individual keys if you want so there's really endless possibilities but long story short this mouse being between 30 and 40 dollars i think is a great deal it's relatively lightweight it is very accurate it's overall a really good tried and trusted mouse so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you like and comment down below make sure you drop us a subscription hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in the next one peace out